Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest scenes of all time. And as you can see, I got my first guest of the new season, y'all. Samantha, what's good? Hey. <laughs> Thank you for coming here. Um, it's it's a pleasure to have you on. And it's, you know, with this series, I made like, before I even started the first season, I made like this super huge list of scenes that I loved. And this scene was was a part of it. And through the first season only has like eight episodes and I, you know, cut it off there just to take some time off from it or whatever. But mm -hmm. when I started to revisit and come back, I thought, oh man, you know how cool it would be if she came on here and watched it? Cause it is, that, that's my favorite scene in the movie. Last time we talked about it, I, I told you that was my favorite scene in the movie was yours, um, the chamber scene or whatever. And so uh, thank you for coming on and how have you been? Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And firstly, it's just uh, an honor to be a part of that list. How, how <laughs> cool is that I, it was very unexpected because you never really know how things are going to turn out but mm -hmm. once the editing and the score and everything went on uh, I, i'm not one to i guess enjoy my own performance as much <laughs> i tend to cringe at myself but oh, they okay. got me with that one i was like damn yeah <laughs> good job <laughs> yeah yeah no it's 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 incredible <laughs> it is incredible so um how have you been you doing good you you I am. I'm keeping busy working. Um, I know there's the the strike and everything happening right now. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are doing their own personal creativity projects at the moment. But uh, yeah, I can't complain. Life is good, man. Good, good, good. So you, I see you staying in shape. I always see you all the time working out and, and the <laughs> yoga and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I try. My my staying in shape nowadays is 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 a little pathetic though. So. <laughs> when I remember what I used to do back when I was competing in like 17, 18, mm -hmm. train like six or seven hours a day. And now maybe I'll get in my 20 minute yoga session and like five pound dumbbell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, at, least you, at least you're doing something. At least you're doing something. Because you, you still look great. Like every time I see you on social media, you look great. You know, you're out, you're having fun with your friends and stuff. So that that's that's cool, man. That's cool. You're living, you're living the life. That's good to see. It's always good to see people enjoying themselves and um, you know, just being great. <laughs> so what what we're here for, first of all, I did want to watch something else with you. I, we're gonna watch the chamber scene from Army of the Dead, which is like I said, it's my favorite scene. It's, it's so good. And as I was getting the clip ready that we could watch it, I was just like watching it a bunch of times. I was like, damn, this really is fire. Like it's it's a dope scene. <laughs> so, but there's something else and that I wanted to watch with you, and that is um there's a certain uh there's a previous scene of like Wonder Woman stunt performances that that came out. I think I've had this for like a while. I, I know I put it out on like Twitter or, or Instagram but what, what, what the first time I saw it. But then like I've been sitting on it and I was like, oh, man, she's coming on. And I was like, oh, it'd be cool to watch this with her because this is I, I like I love this. I, I like seeing behind the scenes stuff like this. So um, I'm going to bring this up. And this is. Um, It's um, it's it's your previous work when it came to like I guess for Wonder Woman or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I I like watching this one a lot too. Uh, it was just so much fun shooting that like four days out mm -hmm. in, the ranch in California. But I'll, I'll let us watch and I'll come. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get this up here. I had a mild panic attack after posting it though because I was like, "Am I allowed?" <laughs> <laughs> They're asking me questions I don't know the answer to. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh! So when you posted it, people were asking you like, like, what is this about and stuff? Like, yeah, or making speculations that I never said, but kind of taking what I posted out of context. And I was yeah. like, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I get you. All right, so I'll bring this up. All right, let's let me get this. We'll go down here. All right, so here it is. This is um, this is the one-on-one -on -one previs, and yeah, yeah, feel free to talk throughout this. This is it's fine, but uh, here we go. All right. Can
How, how sunburnt my scalp is this <laughs> shot but i burnt my scalp never done that before in my life <laughs> oh for being out in the sun so long doing that <laughs> yeah i never who'd have thought like where you part your hair it, you could actually get a sunburn just in that one line <laughs> <laughs> i i know i've i've um i i know i just shave my hair off and i get it all the time <laughs> yeah, just for being just anytime I, I can literally and i'm like i'm like mixed my mom's african-american my father's white it's like i still get like the sunburn part like super bad when if i go outside and 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 and, and just heat without covering myself with anything i am getting burned it's, yeah. <laughs> it's rough out there i'm the same i'll get very tan but after mm -hmm. a certain point i will i will get burnt and you it get burnt painful but so um, how did that come about this Wonder Woman previous like what how, did when you know when they approached you about it like how did this did the entire thing come about so I of course only know limited information I don't know what was going on with Warner Brothers and the director mm -hmm. conversations at the time but uh, I was told that we were just doing some concepting to figure out the style of Wonder Woman because this is even before I think this is before prep for the film even it was still really early development stages yeah so all i was told is that you're just experimenting doing some con concepting figuring out the style mm -hmm. and there were three different videos made there was this one another one and another one i, I don't know why i needed to say that when i said no, you, you're, good, you're good you're good you're good you're good um, <laughs> <laughs> um, another friend of mine, Mickey, did one with a team, and then I did two of them. One was this, one was another one. But this one, uh, I think it took up the most amount of time when we were shooting, but uh, who spearheaded this one was Guillermo Grispo. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a friend of mine from Argentina, but he's been a fight choreographer. He's responsible for the, the look of the fight sequences in the Kingsman, the, mm. the first oh, one. Oh, yeah, that's the, yeah. You know, it's similar. It is. It's similar. Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. So his brain, when it comes to choreography, not just choreography, but how to shoot it in a unique mm -hmm. way to where it becomes memorable, he's just a, a master at that. So of course, anytime he's like, "Hey, want to come out and shoot a fight or a previs?" I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> You learn so much, and it, it's always some new revolutionary way of doing things, but. Uh, mm -hmm. Either way, I was obviously ecstatic to go out there, and they had a Halloween store costume for me. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes, so yes, 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 yes. I did see. Yeah. yeah, the tiara that's like a piece of foam, just yeah, wrapped yeah, wrapped around your head. Yeah. yeah. Um, but one of the funniest stories for me while we were shooting that is that mm. that very first shot where I'm running and then jump into the air, and it's this huge tracking shot where the camera is like, yeah, falling, and I'm like, ah, yeah. Um, Everything was planned out so meticulously. I go up and then uh, my friend Wayne, who's another fight coordinator, stuntman mm -hmm. stunt coordinator, uh, was operating the camera. So I get pulled up and then he goes up behind me. So both of us are on wires. Mm -hmm. We got the shot, but what we didn't realize or, or bother figuring out ahead of time is what happens to us after cut. So we're going, we shoot, it's like mm -hmm. cut, and then we're swinging. <laughs> and then we go back, and now we're facing each other, swinging, swinging. towards each other <laughs> from like 40 feet away in the air. He has this massive camera that he's holding, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm just in front of him 40 feet away, and we're picking up speed about to smash into each other. And oh, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> we're in the air. We can't, we can't communicate. Mm -hmm. uh, thankfully, we'd worked together so many times by that point that – instinctively we we were like ah oh, we're gonna rotate this way yeah, so we didn't yeah. say anything but but once we made contact we both just kind of grabbed and turned each other and then every time we kept coming back together we just kept doing that <laughs> <laughs> but nice. the fear of god was in me in that moment i was like I'm about to smash into him at like i don't i don't know what the speed was but that would have been painful yeah yeah i i 
imagine it would have been good thing. Good thing for experience. Good thing for experience. Yeah, yeah but yeah, that, that's um. I, I could see why people would were <laughs> were hitting you up like, yo, what is this? Like, like you know, speculating on things and that. I immediately got. I was like, okay, so this is like before you know Wonder Woman. And so wh when was this? Wh when did that get uh filmed? Like, I think it was. I want to say April May of 2015. Okay. Somewhere out there. Mm -hmm. So very early. I don't know even which director was responsible for it because mm -hmm. all I had communicated with at the time was Guillermo. Yeah. Who had yeah. Been, um, in charge. So yeah, I can't I can't say I don't want to be like this is Zack Snyder's and, and <laughs> all the other stuff is Patty. I can't say that. Yeah. yeah. So I know people were trying to take that context, but I don't know is my stance on all okay. on that. Oh, that's thing. fine. I, I I got you. I believe you. Yeah, it's it's it, it, that's that's a lot especially at that point in time when when it, when you say that was filmed that there's a lot going on probably so yeah yeah i could see i could see well it's it's it, what the first time i saw and i guess that, that was when you shared it that's that that's um that's incredible man i i i love it a lot and <laughs> it's just like the amount of work that sort of goes into that's not even the movie that's just you know what i mean right G giving giving someone something to look at to sort of think of how they're going to film scenes for that movie is what that was. And that's, that's dope. The amount of work that went in that. It really was, it was. It, <laughs> so was it like, you said it was four days. Yeah. Four days out in a ranch somewhere around here. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is another one and I'm like, oh, should I post that one? <laughs> oh, I want to see. <laughs> I, think I, I got it. My, my friend Wayne, who was operating the camera, mm -hmm. uh, he and another coworker of ours was in charge of that previous, but I don't know if he's finished his effects or like, I don't know if he ended up fully completing his to his mm -hmm. life to where he let me post it without getting mad at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so I, I, I got to ask him or get a hold of that one somehow. And I, I'm not sure where the other one is floating around, but I'm mm -hmm. determined to hunt them down because what a cool, what a cool. Yeah, it's it's it, it's fire. I love. I I see. I don't know how many times I've seen. It. I, I I'm probably shouldn't tell you how many times I watched it because it's dope. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's a it's it's a good. You know, you see previews all the time, and and very seldom are they that put together. Where there's like obviously you can see the wire work and things, but like there's effects with some of the spears and things of that nature. Like like you could see like you know there was some work put into it. So. Yeah, uh, it's, it, it is one of my favorites. Got in my day's work. I even broke my boots at some point in the day. So oh. like the zipper had broken and a giant hole was ripped in the side. So I'm like trying to stabilize myself as we're mm -hmm. doing it. My head was sunburned. <laughs> yeah, just, it was rough, but it was so, so fun. And then, of course, after they put in the effects for everything, I was like, this is cool. This is a yeah. video. I'm, I'm glad you put it out there because it that's. Yeah, I, I I absolutely love that that little clip of um of you doing that stuff or whatever. So, um, so you've been you've been doing pretty good. You doing doing well? Yeah, yeah, I am. I have a, another another project waiting to come out, and I I don't know how that one's gonna look. So I'm really excited to mm -hmm. see. So. Okay, I don't want to ask you to say more than you can. So that's you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why you're here, and and I know um. When I first started doing this this particular uh, thing, the greatest scenes of all time, it's because I, I just I love movies and TV shows, and there are some particular pieces of of film that that um, I absolutely <laughs> love to watch. And so I came up with this idea, and through I made this list, and I'm this is probably thirty or forty scenes, right? And mm -hmm. and this scene was in there. Um, and so when I did the first season, it was only eight episodes, like I was saying earlier. And uh, once I started planning for this one, I was like, yo, it'd be so cool if she would come on and watch this with me. Like, you know what I mean? Because I have more guests this season than I did last time. I think I only had like two or three. Um, mm -hmm. And so I was like very excited to do this. And so I messaged you hoping that you would be down to come on and watch this. Because it's it is it's my favorite scene from Army of the Dead. So like, <laughs> and then oh. when you replied and said that that you do it, I was like, yes, yo, it's fire, <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. That. It's, it's so nice when I saw your message for it. Because A, what a cool series. B, what an honor to be part of it. And C, yeah. I had so much fun with you guys last time. I'm like, why wouldn't I want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, uh, and so um, 
once I got it and you messaged back and said you do it, I was like, all right, this is this, this is great. So this is normally I try to try to record like the the whole season before I put it out so that it's easier for me to distribute it. So, mm -hmm. um, but anyway, without further ado, let's watch your scene. This is my literally my favorite scene from Army of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally my favorite scene for this movie. But uh, let's full screen and all right, all scene. right. <laughs> Garrett's like the nicest person in the world, too. Have yeah. Like, that asshole. <laughs> he didn't tell me to scream, but it felt right. And I was yeah. like, I don't ruin the shot, but. <laughs> yeah. That's a great one. <laughs> tell this bastard. Yeah. <laughs> That's the exact same thing I was thinking when I was it. Yeah. That was a workout that day to have so many people pulling on you. Oh yeah, it's hard to to stay upright. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they were going light, but still. Oh. Yeah. Blood came out. We didn't mm. do a test of that first because it's such a big reset. You know, blood mm. goes everywhere. You have to clean it all. Yeah. Um, so it was just one of those takes where it's like, okay, here are the tubes. Blood's gonna fly. Got yeah. it. Okay. But I did not anticipate the loudness and the power with which the blood would come out mm -hmm. it was like sitting there i'm trying to stay in character all of my friends are biting my neck it's weird yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. all of a sudden it's like and it's so loud that all of us go <laughs> like we get just a second yeah yeah and then one of one of them uh, his name is tony the blood just goes like all up his nose like, oh, oh. <laughs> And for me, there's a brief moment where I almost laughed because it was just so loud right in mm -hmm. your ear. It felt like it felt like it was Tarantino style, like Yeah, yeah. I was like, Holy shit, what's <laughs> happening right now? But then I watched it, I'm like, oh, it doesn't look like that. But that's what it sounded like and felt like. So I don't mm -hmm. I don't know where the disconnect was, or maybe it was like that, and they toned it down in post. I'm so curious because the actual experience standing there it was different. I was like, I had on my shoulder, and it, when it hit everyone around me, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <I'm so sorry." laughs> nah, it, it's um, yeah, it, uh, it's good to hear you say that. It's 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 such a great scene, and it's always cool to get like sort of you know a kind of behind the scenes take on it you know what i mean and because yeah. it, it just like it, it hits hard especially right there at the end when she gives she gives him the look and then he just knows exactly what he has to do but you're all right like a couple minutes before that like nah she's good still you could <laughs> yeah where's your pro shooting skills man <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure for sure so yeah yeah i um so hold up let me get this uh i'm gonna bring a couple of the shots up and and um yeah. <laughs> yes please it's so hard to talk through it because i end up getting so sucked in i it's like i don't want to ruin the moment no oh, you're good you're good that's that's it this is all it's it's so um talk about this the creeping through them as it and you said like a lot of these are your friends so it's like a sort of situation where you're like oh <laughs> yeah it and especially with this gas can a there's there's trying not to laugh because it's your friend who's hovering over you that's like mm -hmm. yeah. and you're like Wait, this is ridiculous what is our lives right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <For> work work <laughs> so there's that mm -hmm. and then also the fact that i've had this gas can on my back like the whole movie so even mm -hmm. behind the scenes we're just constantly bumping into everyone and everything all of us that we're wearing them we're just knocking things over mm -hmm. smashing into people's faces without being like a, aware that it's even happening because it's hard to feel because they were very light yeah um yeah what i think i don't know if i asked you this last time we talked but was there was the gas was the gas can empty or did they put something in it to give you sort of a uh they they were empty okay, yeah okay. that's fine that's fine that's fine <laughs> it makes it better to maneuver because i know sometimes yeah. they might put something in it to sort of give you know but 
this what for what you had to do um yo let me ask you about this because i was uh, i don't think i last you about this the baby girl charm where did that come from the uh... oh that was uh our amazing costume designer stephanie porter that was her idea for having mm. baby girl and then also there's that same emblem on my gun so we all had customized weapons as well mm -hmm. and uh, on my rifle uh that charm baby girl was on there too so that was like you know that's yeah. <laughs> That's my feminine side of the character coming out. You got mm. the hard side. You got the bandana and the muscles and the yeah. Uh, I liked. I liked that there were little feminine touches in there. She wasn't like trying to be a dude. She was still being herself. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. just an environment where she had to survive and she had to. She mm -hmm. had to be. Yeah, really and she, I'm telling you, man. It <laughs> this this. Every time I rewatch this movie, I'm like, yo, there's, you know, you obviously there's a couple of badass characters, but like yours is up there, man. And I was like, yo, every time I watched the watch the, the entire movie, I'm like, damn, I wish Chambers had made it to the end because she's so, you know what I mean? To just to sort of whatever they got coming next to see you again and some of that, you know what I mean? If you if your yeah. character had to survive, uh, it was such a it was it was. I remember when I saw it because they released it a week early in theaters and that's where i saw it was in theaters like for the first yeah. time and mm -hmm. i remember being blown away by it but also at the same time i was like oh i wish she had a survive you know what i mean because i just i wanted i wanted to see you again and something else because she was such a fucking badass man in this movie um, thank you i always say i i'm really relieved that that is the general feeling even though people have said that they wish they could see more of the character i'd much rather they think that I died too early and be like, I wanted to see more. Then, yeah, then there's be like this. <laughs> it's the opposite where they're like, God, just die already. You don't want that. <laughs> yeah. So this, there's, okay, hold on, let me try to kiss. This is kind of blurry. It's kind of blurry to catch, but this is, I thought this shot was cool. So like, when, when, <laughs> did, did, did Zach just say action and he just said, just do your thing? Or how did this, like, this, the scene, once it gets started, the scene where you start just taking them all out, like, how, how did it get started? Like, did Zach just say, go with it, or was it choreographed or anything? All of it was was very meticulously choreographed, especially with so many people. It has to be, because otherwise, mm -hmm. the mistakes would definitely be bound to happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, Zach was operating the camera for yeah, this yeah, shot. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he was, uh, he learned the choreography for that little section with us, and he was holding it and, and walking back. As, I think he even, like, strapped a light on onto him somewhere mm -hmm. so he was like holding the, he was operating plus he had a light plus we had another friend matt rigetti who was operating a button to do muzzle flashes yeah yeah, yeah so it was uh it was a lot of work zach was doing like three jobs for that shot so he yeah he's like chase me and do the choreography this way but it was more entertaining for me to watch him i think yeah. He's he's talked. To, I've I've seen him talk about it before. Where he, I think he, he absolutely loves to 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 sort of have the camera in his hands, considering he's the director. He just, you know what I mean. And yeah. so I, I think he's I think he said he's done, um, some stuff. I I, I wish I could get him on this show. It'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I I've never got a chance to actually talk to him. Um, but uh, oh, no. no, but he's he said that that he's enjoys like holding the camera so you saying that is just i bet he was just as giddy as hell just doing that as you guys were yeah. oh and you had somebody back there with the muzzle flash that is incredible man yeah there was a there was another uh stuntman fight choreographer that was uh, crouched on top of a storage shelf in a dark mm -hmm. corner of the room and he was uh he helped choreograph the sequence so he knew it very well too and he was literally just like tucked up in this little corner with a remote control just hiding in the darkness and every time I point and he knew that there's supposed to be a shot, he was responsible for mm. operating the muzzle splash. So I wasn't actually the one controlling the light. He was controlling it and we just had to be super synced up. Mm. But thankfully we'd also worked together for so many years, all the way back from Sucker Punch. So he was very familiar with my timing. Mm -hmm. But uh, Zach even said that he, cause he, through the shoot, his, his I want to say wardrobe, but not wardrobe, his outfit was primarily a white shirt and cargo pants. Yeah, yeah. Or a white shirt because it acts as a, um, a bounce for light. Yeah. So he's operating, he can, like, bounce light with his person. <laughs> yeah, well, Zach is always, like, <laughs> a one step ahead, right? <laughs> so 
true. And you uh, could just see how passionate he is about it and how much he enjoys being right in it with you. And I think that's why I enjoy working with this team so much with mm -hmm. Snyder's because they are in it with you. Anything you're doing or experiencing or heat or whatever, he is mm -hmm. too. And everyone is just excited about the work that we're doing. It's mm -hmm. I, I don't feel ego around. I don't feel like we didn't even have chairs. Most yeah, of yeah. like, you know, the director style chair with your name on it kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, none of us, there were none of that on this set at all. Everyone just sat where you sat, like everybody yeah. else. And I really like that. Yeah, no, that's 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 what I've heard from. I mean, uh, anytime you read anybody talking about working with Zach or Debbie, uh, that that's pretty much the gist of what you get is is they're just terrific to work with, and um, yeah, that's that's great. That's 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 awesome. I, I I'm sure that makes making because movies making movies. I'm sure I'm sure it's, it's it's difficult. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, and so having uh, the director and it, was the executive producer? Yeah, be so like that is it makes it a lot easier on people to work with them. So that, yeah, that's that's um that's great, man. That's great to hear. That yeah. is um and, and oh. on, on such and plus that's <laughs> I saw a bunch of set photos from from Army where Zach had that exact thing on like a white shirt and like khakis like a, like pants on or whatever like some some boots of some sort or something like that uh mm -hmm. and and so yeah that that makes sense why he would shoot like that the light reflects that's dude he's always thinking right? that's incredible. <laughs> it's, it's so true and if you're standing right in front of the person that is the best place to have the bounce to have light go up at their eyes so you see mm -hmm. a bit more in it um and he's just thinking all those steps ahead so it's yeah no, there's just something so nice. Even when we were shooting mm -hmm. No Steam Iron, um, the short film with the iPhone years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, No Steam Iron, yeah. Um, I loved it so much because it was such a, a bare bones team. It was really just friends and family getting together on the weekend to shoot this. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody was just about the work. So if the street needed to be wet down a little bit more like Wesley, who's one of the executives. Yeah, Wes. <laughs> producers, he, he just like grab a hose and water down the street. Like, mm -hmm. you know, producers don't usually do that, but he's like, whatever. Um, so we need a napkin to clean something. Um, maybe Damon Caro goes and finds like a roll of paper towels to come bring. And uh, my thumb needs to be dirtier. So I could just stick it on the ground and like rub <laughs> it in some actual dirt instead of, you know, whatever's going to make it efficient instead of like waiting for the proper channels. Uh, mm -hmm. I know there's definitely an element of professionalism that should be exercised on big sets. But I also like when you can tell that people are there because they, they want to be, they, they want they, to be there. Yeah. yeah. They really want to be. Yeah. yeah. So this is a, a I like, I also, Stone C. Byron is, is such an, you know, I love this picture right here, but, but uh, it's, you know, when, when me and a lot of my friends saw that for the first time, and obviously he put it on Vero or whatever, we were blown away by that. Like, dude shot this on an iPhone. And it's like, like j even though with the, no dialogue and stuff like that, like it's still, you could still understand what was going on. And it was just such a beautiful thing to watch. And it's only like five minutes or whatever it is. And it's it's short and you're like, that's that's why you know that's why for a lot of us zach is the, you know our favorite director when it comes to um just movies in particular because this is this wasn't a superhero movie it wasn't you know 300 or anything it was literally a very short film shot on an iphone and you sort of uh get a complete story in just that short amount of time like you could there's a beginning there's an end and you could like understand it and stuff and i thought uh, it was incredible. And you did great. You did great in that. That was, <laughs> I think you too. You, how did you remind me how, when, when, cause I think I asked you last time, like, how did he approach you to do Snow Steam Iron? Uh, well, Snow Steam Iron was one of the first projects where he'd really let me act because I have a stunt background and I've been taking acting classes and doing mm -hmm. theater, doing it all like secretly on my own privately for a long yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, and once he knew that I, I wanted to go more into acting, this was one of the first opportunities that he was going to give me to really be able to. Uh, so he really mm -hmm. just called me one day and then told me about the project and I was listening. And then he's like, so would you, would you be interested in doing it? And that was the first time it clicked that he was even really Asking. without me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is cool. 
project, yeah. Um, and I think I might have, I, I definitely played it cooler than I was feeling on the inside, but I was still, of course, extremely grateful. And was like, yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Hang up, mm -hmm. and then I really cried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> me, I would have, bro, let me tell you something. If, if, that, if that ever happens to me, I am bawling like there's no tomorrow. Like that's, that's, I'd be over the moon about that, but yeah. So, and how long was the shoot for that? Uh, it was just two days. Two so days? Okay. yeah, that's... we just shot it in his office at Warner brothers at the time. And then in an alley near the office mm -hmm. and, and that was it. Just had a little team go out, all had fun together. Um, his daughter Willow did my makeup for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, really a cool experience and it's it's so weird for me every time like the picture that you pulled up and then mm -hmm. the background from army of the dead there i always look so intense and psychotic whatever <laughs> pictures and then at home this is me i'm always smiling or making candles <laughs> or decorating cakes or mm -hmm. Sorting. I've seen I've seen some of your cooking stuff. You 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 get down with it. You get down with it. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's me. So it's it is funny when I see pictures that mm -hmm. so much of my career side of things focuses on one side of my personality that's mm -hmm. probably very misleading to actually. <laughs> oh, that's that's um. I think uh, uh, this is just because I'm not an a I'm, I don't act or anything, but just from like fans like that's. That's a trademark of like a a great actress is that did you know what I mean? Like you can come on here and 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 be yourself and stuff, but we've also seen you know you act and it, to be so convincing in those roles is is you know what I mean? It's sort of like it makes you a good actress. So you have your way of thinking about it, but from the fans, this is this is how we see it. Like when you can do that, that's mm -hmm. tremendous. So that it's you're you're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I think I think there's definitely part of my. <laughs> my personality that can be that but it would take an extreme circumstance it's extreme circumstance like zombies like is that what it is? exactly <laughs> like, like zombies or life or death i think i that yeah. i think how i would be mm -hmm. i think but you never really know until you're tested maybe i just cry and assume the fetal position <laughs> who, who really knows? i think your your instincts will kick in. i i probably you, you and i say this you probably can like the average person, I think you probably can, you, you have enough training. Like if you had to like defend yourself to something, you probably can, can do work. Cause I mean, you know, it, once I, I think they say once it's, 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 if you, you train so much at doing something like it sort of uh, steps in on its own when it needs to, you know? So yeah. My, yeah. Cause I, I, I was in the military and I, I was deployed three times and that is real talk. Like we trained a lot when you weren't there, but when you got there, it, it, the training was, you know, it, it, it helped you when you were there. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's the same thing. That's, same that's, thing. that's good to know. Cause I never, I don't know if it kicks in. I've never been in the actual scenario. So I've done all the training and then mm -hmm. I, I perform it on mm -hmm. my terms when I'm yeah. emotionally prepared, but I can't imagine when it's, high stakes and real circumstances whether or not that actually translates for people mm -hmm. no it, it 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 does it does it does I, i'll just tell you that it does okay. it does um <laughs> <laughs> thank you um but so let's get back to this so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just play this because this 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 was this you through the window it was they let me do it <laughs> <laughs> let's see uh oh She's done. I was like, go back and get her. Go I'm back and get her. Okay, I'm still okay. <laughs> now I'm not. Yeah. This is yeah. well, here's the, the blood you were talking about. Yeah. It's about to go 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 to squirting everywhere. It was it was really dramatic, that blood on the day. Oh, <laughs> I like the music they use here too. Yeah, that's junkie, right? Junkie XL. That's yep. yeah, sure is. All right, I'll pause right there. <laughs> well, what an intense, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. yeah. Well, in that, so, in, go, uh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Okay, I actually, 
uh, got a little bit of the blood in my eye. Yeah, you told me that last time it did like, yes. yes. So I had to do this intense eye wash and uh, I'm thankful that the, the what I was feeling still translated because at least 80% of what was going through my mind at that moment when I'm looking at him and they're tugging on me mm-hmm. is just keep your eye open. Just keep your eye open. <laughs> yeah. It burnt so bad. I just, I was doing yeah, yeah. And keeping it open just instantly flooded it with water. And it felt like maybe I'd burnt my retina. Just that Mm -hmm. feeling where the tiniest little light, it feels unbearable to it. So that's that's what I was experiencing at that very time, which is not an ideal time to have a giant light from a fireball go at you (laughs) with your eyes open. So how did they do that light? Was that like actually there? Uh, That was visual effects the okay. light behind me but there was uh, a panel light that was in front of me that they had on a timer to um start to light up and then do a giant flash as if okay was- okay mm-hmm. i got you i got you i got you so yeah that's um yeah that's that that is is legit my favorite scene from army of the dead and um it's it's been a pleasure to have you come on here and talk about it because you know when I had the idea for it, I was like oh I wonder if she'd come on that's why I messaged you and you you agreed to it this is this is incredible I'm, I'm having a blast right now so um any any final thoughts you got on this on this scene like like any any details that somebody might know that you want to put out there or? well I definitely want to thank people who recorded their reactions to this scene because mm-hmm. a couple of my friends were sending me uh, reaction videos. Oh, okay, nice. And people were so so much more into it than I'd imagined. Like jumping up, <laughs> especially for that window part. It seemed like everyone seemed to have a, a pretty big reaction when I come through the window, mm-hmm. and it was just most fun for me to watch them enjoying it especially knowing how fun that moment was for me. I'm just so happy it came across that way. But mm-hmm. I wasn't sure if they were going to let me go through the window because, mm-hmm. you know, there's insurance oh. and other other uh, things. They wouldn't let me dress as a zombie because if I had any reaction to the glue or the paints, yeah, or, that would be bad for the next day of shooting. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of things that they wouldn't let me, but I was really so, happy. So how, how hard was it to convince them to let you jump through that window? I didn't have to. Oh, I, I was prepared to. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> but, but I think I think Damon Caro and maybe a couple others had mm-hmm. had said on my behalf because I've done it a million times for other shows and other projects before. So it's not mm-hmm. outside of my realm of capability. It's just that one in a thousand risk that even though it's sugar glass, even though it's as safe as it possibly could be. That's mm-hmm. why it stunts because there always is that risk where there's an unforeseen um, mm-hmm. incident that could happen. Yeah. Uh, but they they trusted me enough to do the job properly. And I we only did it once and nice. uh, got the shot. So yes, <laughs> I got to yeah. show future grandkids. <laughs> yeah, there you, there you go, there you go, there you go. No, it's it, it's it, it's incredible, and and like that that's at the point where you know obviously like we, as the audience, I, I don't I, what's happened to her. Like I don't know. Then you come out of the window, and, and we see the the final chambers' final sort of uh, minutes there, bef- you know, before the audience or whatever. Uh, and that was you know <laughs> obviously I wasn't able to do a reaction because I like saw it in theaters. But when that like I said when that was over, I was like. They could have saved her. <laughs> <laughs> they could have saved her. But um, I think uh, for, as far as the story goes, it sort of fits in there pretty good. Like you see that sort of sacrifice and uh, it's, it, it enables everyone else to get out of that place that you guys are at. So it it, it, it makes sense story-wise, but you know, there's a lot of things that I've seen in my life that make sense story-wise, but I'm still like, you could have saved her. You know? <laughs> Uh, still could have been around but uh, I I always wondered because when I'd read the script mm -hmm. uh, that moment wasn't it might have been like two or three lines it wasn't originally this huge thing Mm -hmm. Uh, so I don't I don't know what happened there but I I have a sneaking suspicion that once uh, I was allowed to play the part Mm -hmm. that fight choreographers being um, friends of mine and we'd work together. They were like, maybe we can do something cool here. Yeah. And pitched a bigger sequence. So I think it it might have been one of those collaborations where it kind of morphed and became what it was after the fact, uh, which of course I really appreciated. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I wonder 
maybe it wasn't going to be a huge fight sequence before. Maybe it would have been just a, a quick kill where it's like, yeah. oh, things get real. But um, because because I could, why not do a massive? Yeah, yeah for real. That's that. That's. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm glad that's that was the case because that, like I said, that's my favorite scene from the movie. So, um, you know, this is this is incredible. I uh, what, <laughs> like I was telling you this a bit ago when I was putting together like sort of the scenes I wanted to do for the second season. Mm -hmm. um, this was on there, and I was like, oh man, I wonder. If, and I'm so happy that you came on and did this because this is like I, it's my favorite scene from the movie. So uh, it, to have you come on and sort of talk about it with me and watch it with me has been. A pleasure, and I appreciate it. And you are welcome back to this channel anytime. Oh, well, thank you so much for having me. It's always an honor, and uh, I'm sure I'll see you again on the next one. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will. Uh, we have. We, we'll find. We'll find another one of your scenes to watch together and 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 chit chat about and uh, like geek out over. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. So, um, appreciate you. Yeah. You're welcome back anytime. Greatest scenes of all time, ladies and gentlemen, Chambers versus the zombies. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>